Hey everybody, hope you're having a great Friday. So today I actually had time to sit down before going to work. I'm not wearing any lip product, I'm sorry. I meant to put one on and it just, you know how it is, one thing or another. Um, I'll probably grab one out of my little lippy bag later, but um, I'm all cashed out for Friday because I'm just so tired. Um, eventually, you guys may actually see my hairstyle properly, but the last couple of times that I've uploaded anything, it's been all curly. This is the lazy side of me um, that just doesn't have the energy because if you saw my bathroom, it's very unorganized. I need to get to Walmart and buy one of those little five drawer situations, you know, the little plastic things, and then I can put my makeup in it and then that will clear up so much space and then it'll be so much easier for me to, you know, pull out my flat iron because um, everything has to be moved for the flat iron and the blow dryer to be used and it's just more trouble than it's worth. Anyway. So, I decided to do a Friday Favorites because I do have a few things that I have been loving this week, or maybe my opinion has changed a little this week than the last time that we spoke about them, so I thought that I would jump on here and talk about. So, the first thing, and, it's a, and as always, you know me, it's a little mishmash. There's a little bit of this and a little bit of that. First thing I'm going to start off with is a workout. This is the workout that I've been doing all week this week. I've done it two days this week, I think, and I will be doing it again tomorrow. This is the Leslie Sandzone Walkway the Pounds Express Advanced Walk, which is a three-mile walk, and it comes with a stretchy band. Um, I, this may not be the exact stretchy band that it came with because I have multiples, but you use a stretchy band for your strength training purposes, and um, I very much enjoyed it. Um, my muscles aren't agreeing. Um, I, I You don't notice it. Like the day of, I'm like, yeah, whatever. Day after, maybe two days later, my inner thighs are hurting, my shoulders are hurting, my stomach's hurting, my abs. Um, so to me, I'm like, yeah, that I'm, I'm moving something that didn't get moved before. So that's what I've been using this week, and I'll probably continue to do this next week. Um, and, you know, I may continue, you know, for a while because I really do enjoy this and it's been a while since I could do a three mile on a regular basis because I've done them, but usually I end up, you know, falling off the wagon. So I've been really consistent this week. Um, I've missed two days this week. Um, but I was pretty proud of me because I, I'd worked out Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. I missed Wednesday. I worked out Thursday and I missed today and I'll work out tomorrow. So I'm okay with that because I'm okay with about four or five days a week. Um, the next thing, um, this is something that I've had for a while and I just pulled it back out and dusted it off and started playing with it again. This is a blush. This is the Happy Booster from Physicians Formula. I have the one in natural. And I don't know if you can see, but it actually is starting to show some wear when before it looked absolutely perfect. I am wearing it today, but I'm wearing it very lightly. Um, I'm doing a little experiment. Last night, I was using a cream blush, and when I left home, here's the problem I'm having. And if you guys, any of you guys work in fluorescent lighting, maybe you can explain this to me. I know different lighting makes your face look different, and, and it's because of the, like, blue tones or something. But I walk out of here, and I'm like, I look pretty good. I'm in natural light outside. I go, I look pretty good. And then I get to work, and I go to the bathroom, and the lip product that I was wearing looks bad. Or the blush looks like it's either too much, blotchy, splotchy, whatever. I don't know what the deal is. but um, And then sometimes at the end of the night, it feels like, like, you know, I'll look and it looks like I have blush down here when I didn't have blush down here. So, anyway, it's the craziness of working. But um, anyway, I'm testing to see if it's just maybe I'm getting a little warmer as they add the heat during the night or what. But anyway, so I've been wearing that and I'm really enjoying that. I like that I can, you know, you can wear it very lightly because today I'm kind of cashed out. But if I wanted to, I could add more to it because, of course, you can just focus more on this little color right here, which has just, it doesn't even smell anymore. It used to smell like roses. But anyway, she can focus more on one color or another or you can swirl it all together and layer it up. Okay, the next thing is something that was in my last e.l.f. haul. Um, this is the Volume Plumping Mascara. And this is currently, I'm wearing that today. 
and this is currently my favorite e.l.f. mascara on the site. It's got a brush that's kind of big and fluffy, which I like. It's a little bit wet. I'm not a big fan of wet, but it's doing good things to my lashes. So this is one of my all-time favorites. Most e.l.f. mascaras, when I get them, I never repurchase them. This one, I might. We'll see. Another thing from e.l.f. is a brush. Now, someone gifted me one of these, and I don't think that I paid attention that I had it, so now I have two. But that's okay, because I use them. This is the um, from the Dollar Line, the Professional Eye Defining Brush. Professional Defining Eye Brush. And it's one of those angled ones. So I just take it, and I just put it right in my socket and go back and forth. Simple, easy peasy, one, two, three. And it is the easiest I've ever seen of me putting my crease color in the proper place. It still shows out at the top, you know, because I'm a little hooded, but it works. And I really, really like these. If, if I, I definitely recommend that you go and check these out because they're a dollar. Um, the next thing is a couple of nail polishes. My friend Andrea, her channel name is Shooter Star Gleam. She sent me a few nail polishes. She's just kind of clearing things out. I think she is transferring to only Zoya. So she, I know she sent things to uh, a bunch of her friends. So I wasn't the only one, but I'm very thankful. Um, and she sent me several. I'm wearing two of them now. And don't pay attention to the junkiness because I was experimenting with things. And But they are really good. I like them. I am not a person that likes gray. But she sent me this one. This is Recycle. This is China Glaze. And the color is Recycle. And I absolutely love this color. It's like a taupey cement color. I don't know. Cement color anyway. Love it. And then this is Liquid Leather. And it's just a shiny, no shimmer black. And it's called Liquid Leather. And I always say everyone needs a matte black. I don't say, when I say matte, I mean no shimmer. Everyone needs one. Um, the next thing is a food thing. Um, I just got a Vitacost order, and that went up last night. Um, so I picked up some Justin's Organic Dark Chocolate Peanut Butter Cups. And I tried one at work last night, and oh my god, this stuff is amazing. Um, I want them by the bulk. I do. They're just great. Um, I don't remember the price, but they are available on Vitacost.com. Now, you guys saw, I think this was in my last favorites, the Bloom Naturals, um, which contains organic tea tree oil for combination and oily skin. These are makeup wipes. I do like them, but I've changed my opinion on something. When it comes to eye makeup, I still have to use an eye makeup remover and take it off because this just does nothing but swirl it around. It doesn't really remove anything. But it does seem to remove my facial makeup, so that still works for me. But anyways, these are available on veganessentials.com is where I got them. And then the last thing is also a food thing. This is something that I've uh, that I got from Kroger. It's from the brand Bare Naked. It comes in a box like this, and it is the Morning Power Packs 100% pure and natural granola, fruit and nut, in to-go pouches. And these are delicious. Um, I was reading all the ingredients. And I'll push this up here if you want to read the ingredients. You can pause it right here and read the ingredients. But um, it's absolutely natural. It's absolutely delicious. I don't like raisins, and I like the raisins in this. So maybe, maybe there's some chemical or something they're putting on regular raisins that I don't like. But I'm liking these. I've been eating this all week at work, like my last break, like snack um, at 10 o'clock before I go home. So that is everything that I am loving this week. Please let me know what you are loving. Follow me on um, Twitter, and if you're having problems with the Google Plus thing, you can tweet me. And if you have, if you can't get the comments to work, um, if you have, you know, just let me know what you're loving. Um, if you have any questions or any thoughts, um, and we'll we'll chat about it. You guys have a great one. Bye.